Five Hello boxes. Hello and welcome everyone. It is me, the Laval, also known as the Power To Do List. And with a bit of shipping delay, I finally got my hands on the box of Battle of Chaos I ordered. Um, so I just want to really get into these, see if I can pull any Dino Ruffia cards. Um, this time Jaden is in the back as well, but not muted. Hello. <laughs> Nervously says hello with the spotlight. Today we're opening 24 booster Sweet packs or one box. Or one box of Battle of <laughs> But five <Hell>. times. <laughs> Yo, can I play? Can I play whatever I pull out of these next week? Progression. Uh, yeah. If I can take my aerial cards, then yeah. That's a rough bet, you know. <laughs> um, hmm? That could be a rough bet depending on what I pull, you know. <laughs> You're playing with 2021 cards. I'm playing with like a. 2012 deck, 2011 that is. 2011 deck. We'll be fine. I'll probably I'll play deck that does the one negate. Rip like the first one open, and uh, the rest will just be like I'll just cut to the foils, I guess. Um. Jesus Christ. Uh, that is not a Dino Ruffia card. That is also not a Dino Ruffia card. That is a ghost trick card. These are, by Cringe. the way, kind of Imagine cool. being a card in... These are, by the way, kind of cool. The yeah. ghost trick cards. I think there's a Link one. Ooh! Libromancer Doombroker. Oh, is that a new archetype, right? That's a new TCG exclusive archetype. These, these look actually, like, fairly interesting. Um, even if it's uh, only for the artwork. Because, like, I think mm -hmm. Doombroker is... A bounce or something? No, he sets a Libro Mansa trap. Um, but there's like this Omni Negate trap card that returns like a ritual from uh, your field to your hand and then special summons a Libro Mansa from Grave. Uh, mm -hmm. One of like the, the doll cards, another ghost trick card. So yeah, so the doll cards are like, this is the first uh, printing of the, the, the TCG, yeah, this right? It's basically an import for like the uh, doll Miss uh, Mädchen, uh, Grandpa the Meadow, like the stuff that like seems like based on Pinocchio or something. Yeah, so I've seen this in Master Duel. Yeah. But um they're only now coming into TCG, but then there's some cards that have been in TCG for like a couple months and then they're still not in Master Duel, so that's kinda interesting. Yo, it's the one it's the magician to search Karibo, it's skilled skilled brown magician. Let's go. It's kinda sick. It's yo, a common? It's, yo! It's a pendulum. <laughs> pendulum! It's the best deck! <laughs> Let's go. This this guy. This guy baited me so hard initially because I thought he was a Mortronic. It's Mortronic! Yo, wait, this is Mortronic support. And then I checked the name because like we only got like the the, the um the Japanese image at first and like all Mortronics share like that they start with like a D and then a dot because like the Japanese name for Mortronics is Deformer. Um But yeah, giant bait. The the DDD trap. This guy, this guy looks funky as fuck with all the cameras attached to him. It'd be like that. Yo, this is... Mortronic hint Yo! support. That's the first one. Dynamorphia Sonic. Uh, nice. Dynamorphia deck is coming together. Yo, and there's like the, the doll monster that you summon off like the... Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, I'll probably put the... They were kind of cool in uh, in the uh, Master Duel. Yeah, it's a very like neat, like, uh, decks. rank 4 engine, I want to say. Um, which is, like, the neat part yep. about them. Um, so, yeah. Mm, the Green Mara. Playing rank 4 toolbox in 2022. Well, this guy go. has actually some really cool artwork, but the effect's kind of ass. The guy to search magical dimension. End of the line. No. It's that draw four card, right? Yeah, it's the draw two if you have less than a hundred life points, and draw two additional cards if you have less than ten life points. It's uh, perfect for your deck. Yeah, Copium. basically the fucking Nordic, Nordic Smith, Ivaldi. Uh, might actually consider oh, building white Nordics after this. Yo, yo, nice. What's the dino? Dino yeah, guy. More, more dino DNA. <laughs> more dino DNA. You see on a routine dig for dinosaur fossils. <laughs> this is actually a kind of neat synchro for like anything fiend based. Um, and the Nordic support in the set also looks kind of spicy. So there's definitely like a lot to look forward to in all honesty. I'm just ripping through these for now. Another Dreamer card. Uh... 
Die on my what do Dream Mirrors even do? Uh, I think they're like a light and dark deck that's like supposed to swap between those. Um, oh, it's like Chaos. Yeah, kind of ish. Sun and Moon, wait, what the hell is this? Two Ultras and like four packs, what the hell? Um, target monster you control and the monster your opponent controls. Uh, Maybe you got one of those boxes where it's like, uh, you get it like every other pack is a uh, like high rarity. Okay, it's a really shitty book of Moon. Wait, is this nostalgia bait? <laughs> nice. Wait, this looks like one of the the vanillas like uh, Taya used in the anime. I don't fucking recall the name, but yo, we got a second Diplos. Let's go. Nice. nice. Did that coming together? Don't need to use the proxies anymore. They're coming together. Yeah, I unsleeved a bunch of the proxies already. So, um, I mean, like in I guess what I would say is realistic quantities. I basically unsleeve like everything that is common uh, or super uh, only with like the foils I held a bit back <laughs> nice we got a Theresia let's go I'm gonna sleeve that up yeah that is getting sleeved and after that is also a card I was looking for with the flower dino because this guy is actually kind of neat for Dino Raffia. Because you can... Uh, oh, nice. Uh, he cannot be normal or set, but uh, you can special summon him if either your opponent activates a spell or you activate a trap card. And if he leaves the field, um, you can target three of your... Uh, you can target three banished spells and traps, put them on the bottom of like the corresponding deck, and then draw one. He's like quite neat, I think. Um, Pretty nice. Yeah. This guy is like a neat, ins uh, neat super poly target for like... Vanilla based formats, and there's another. Yo! More Dinorothia cards. Another mis mismatch him. Um, and a Dinorothia brood. Let's go. Okay, that was kind of hype. <laughs> uh, also, well, like, like, two I more of those. Let's go. Noticing these, because, um, like, a lot of Bark Secret Rares seem to have, like, this insane foil bleed, which is apparently a misprint. But it looks sick as fuck. It yeah. looks absolutely sick. Okay, we got a Theresia, which is like already, I think, more than to be expected. Uh... There's like how many different secret verse in um, in the set? There's like ten secrets. Like a handful of them. And it's already pretty good. This is like actually for like Dino Raffia kind of interesting because um, you can only activate this card. Um, if you have less life points than your opponent, which is quite nice. Um, but it's also nice in like mm -hmm. the archetype that's basically shown on the artwork Evil Eye, which is kind of cool. So I don't know, I might set these to the side for like both Dino Raffia and Evil Eye at one point, because I have both decks. Yep. Mm -hmm. The first I time I saw Evil Eye, I thought it were a custom archetype. A custom archetype? Why? <laughs> Yo, it's Morphtronic! I don't know, it's some, this Yo. is kind of weird. No, Yo, Morphtronic! Oh. It's insane. Bait. Uh, this is the Labromancer trap card I was talking about earlier. Um, when your opponent activates a card or effect, you can return the uh, Labromancer ritual from field to hand, and then it negates the activated effect, and then you can special summon a Labromancer from uh, hand or graveyard. Which is nice, like on a normal trap, that's nice, quite nice. Yeah. Um, Ghost Trick Festival. I cannot wait to, like, have to sort through all this bulk when I'm done here. Yo, it's a Magnet Warrior, Epsilon. I think it's... Is he it's kind of like Morphtronic, right? That's basically Morphtronics. Morphtronics have also magnets, man. There's a... Yeah, there's a mag Magnon, whatever it's called. It's Magnon and Magnon Bar, yeah. Yeah. No other special. Send a Magnet Warrior that is level 4 lower from deck to grave, except himself. Remember Morphtronic Magnet? This is him now, if you will get. Um, oh, he copies the name. That's kind of hard. And then he revives a Magnet Warrior with a different name from himself. Yo, that's kind of hard, not gonna lie. Yo, Dynamorphia Shell. It's a Dynamorphia card, just not one you play. <laughs> I think I'll still. I mean, you can play any, any if you choose to. Ooh. Oh, another. Oh, that's the new dragon, right? That, the... is, that is a big one, yeah. Guardian Chimera. 
Um, from what I've heard, this gets like really insane once we got like the uh, Albas structure deck with like branded. I think so. Um, but in general, this was like the big thing where everyone was like, "Yo, this is the most cracked super poly target we've ever got because it's just three monsters with different names." Um, but it has to use like monsters from hand. But this is insane. What you have to use your cards, so. Um, was it that? Then... I think so. You can have to be like from your field, from your yeah, hand, uh, and from, from hand. something yep. like that. Yep, yep, yep. Exactly. I'll put these and put put the Rezia on the side. She gets special treatment here. <laughs> um, we do not discriminate, but there's definitely a higher class. <laughs> Um, All cards are equal, but some are more yo, equal. Second Sonic. We take those. We take those. Hell yeah. Okay, so... Sonic the Hedgehog? So, okay. <laughs> 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 okay, so I'm not even halfway through the box. Yo, alert. I'll take it. Uh, fire and the snack. Let's go. That's a zero scale. What the hell? Uh, yeah, it's a zero scale, actually, which is, which is quite funny. Um, it's really good, I think. It's okay. I mean, you have like a lot of way to search this because uh, it's a level six dinosaur. You can fossil dig into this, and you can also summon us out into this. Um, you can still... pendulum summon in Dinorophia. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, if your opponent controls a monster, that's a neat card. Yeah, that's current. Whose current attack is higher than its base attack? Yo, this is basically the hard counters monotronic decks, man. Yo, it's a. <laughs> I'm gonna play it next time. It is an agent. You can. Banish Agent of Creation Venus to Special Summoner. Pay life points equal in like steps of 500. And for each 500 paid life points, you can Special Summon a Mystic Shine Ball um, that is banished on your graveyard to Special Summon it. And you can return them to the deck uh, when they leave the field. Yo, that's kinda nice. That's that's actually nice. I, I, like I haven't played Ag agents in ages, uh, implying that I ever played agents in the first place. Um, <laughs> okay. But like I like the deck because I got like the uh, structure deck once, uh, or like the initial structure deck for like a, uh, like a, mm -hmm. like a fucking. Um, words. Yo, it's the Dogmatica ritual. Oh, nice. I'm not gonna play that. <laughs> Also, the ritual. Oh, the new ritual spell, you, know? you have yeah. everything you need in one pack. Everything I need for like ritual dogmatica. But yeah, I won that initial agent structure deck for like a, a competition for like custom cards in a uh, magazine back then. Oh, nice. I sadly found out that when I got back into the game, yo, it's Mothronics! Um, that the uh, magazine is apparently discontinued, which is quite sad. Oh. Yo, it's the uh, Libromancer, the, the magic girl. Um, nice. Each Libromancer can basically special summon themselves if you reveal a ritual monster. And she's kind of nice because she's a, a quick effect ritual summon, basically. So if you like revive her off the trap, you can basically already ritual summon like Doom Broker again, which is quite nice. Mm -hmm. Another Brute. We take those, we take those. Uh, Flower Dino. I don't know if I'll need more. Mad Hacker, Mad Hacker as well. I don't know if I'll need more, honestly. I think I'll need to put these on like a separate stack. I'll probably just put them up here. So that the lens flares perfectly on them. Um, Jesus Christ. Who boy. Um, Kaiser. Ice Jade. Chaos Nefties. Hey. Does that work with Chaos or? It's it has chaos in its name and it special summons himself by banishing a light in the dark. If oh, yeah. one or more cards on We're your doing the two thousand four by card effect. Okay, so it's like a really scuffed chaos monster. This Let's play Valk. This definitely this definitely isn't a CD. <laughs> yeah. This I mean C D would be kinda of cracked even nowadays with the the Eldorado. True, 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 true. Jesus this box opening is gonna take eight hours, dude. Holy shit. Probably, uh... Yo, it's quick play Monster Reborn. Another alert. Yeah, Monster that card is. After looking at it, it's not as terrible, but it's like. It's it's the kind of. It's so it's terrible. questionable. 
Yeah. I mean, they could make like actual just like monster reborn and make it a, just make it a trap card. It would still be like mediocre at best, probably. This guy is actually kind of neat because he's a very good dark extender for like decks that banish a lot. Another mm. root, is that like the... So we're making like support for a one-off card that is like a random like, spell card. That's a third root. Nice. Got my play set already. Let's go. Uh, another bear, Kaiser. It's another Nordic card. Another Sonic. The headshot. You know how like keep, they keep retraining and like giving archetypes to like a bunch of random old cards. Yeah. They're together. They're gonna make a monster reborn archetype soon. I, I think. <laughs> Yo, let's go. Yo, it's another alert. Let's go. Um, I would like to see a Celtic Guardian. Actually, this is this, like this is I... the US Arctic trap that can draw you seven cards. Monka, wait. Uh, what yeah, is that Arctic again? Arctic spell. Uh, it gains seven counters, and each time you special summon an US Arctic, uh, you can draw a card. Yeah, we like looked at it. Counter. And it's like still not good because that deck is not good, I think. Yeah, Sarctic is just... Uh, it is I think good. they look cool. Yeah, they look cool, but like, you know... That 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 I think is a reoccurring team with uh, decks that aren't rather good. Libromancer Agent? What does he even do? Four so you're saying... Um, fucking Dino Raffia is bad? And no Megalul? I mean, currently it's not really like... In demand, I guess. But I think that'll change like once uh, the deck turns into Floodgate Turbo. Um, can I? Uh, he recycles. Hit. He recycles uh, Libromancer spells and traps. That's kind. That's kind of nice. Nice. I think like if I end up with like enough or like a solid few of those, I might consider building that deck uh, actually. Cause like art wise, it's kind of neat. And considering this is like a TCG exclusive and this is only like the first showing, uh, we can expect this to definitely see like more support and like Dimension Force. And Yo, we got a Dark. That's like the best super of this set. Yeah, I heard of a... Uh, see, wait, that's just like you can yoink Dark Monster from your... Yeah, you, you can reborn basically monster. from he your opponent's yoink, grave. He can yoink DPE, which is kind of... kind of. <laughs> oh, that's actually interesting. That's a, that's a good <laughs> idea, yeah. Yeah. And also, you know, you need to think about like... Dark is like the best attribute on the game, so yeah, yeah, yeah. having That's, like yeah. the ability to yoink any dark monster is uh, something. Yo, is that Probably got the the first fusion. most likely to come up. Let's go. What attributes are the uh, then roughly usually? Uh, they're all darks. All right. That's why, like, I can I take your I can take your fusion mon uh, that's, monster. That's why, like, I Let's go. started playing one in uh, my current Dino Raffia list. Not only because you can easily make him, but also yoinking a DP is just funny as fuck. Our DP. It is our DP. Yo, it's a dictator of D. The eight fucking uh, like a free train of that card. Let's go. Basically, yeah, basically. But you know what they say. There has never been enough DM bait. I mean, this is kind of the set for that, yeah. Yeah, it is. It is. There's like a lot of it. But overall, it still seems like a decent set. It do be. Oh, I think and I'm still over here buying like Spirit Warrior packs. <laughs> Meanwhile, Jaden buying Spirit Warriors. Uh, I don't know if this is like a. I mean, it has three cool archetypes. It's nice. Wasn't that uh, six Sam's? I think. Um, Better Frank painters and the um, uh, magical musket. Yo, it's a blue eyes fusion spell. Yeah, old fusion and or what is it called? Something like that. Fusion, yeah. It's also quick play, which is kind of funny. Um, okay. Fusion summon a fusion monster that mentions blue eyes or blue eyes ultimate dragon as material. Wait, is that? Oh uh, yeah, Dragon Master Knight, right? Uh, uh yeah, I'm thinking that's probably for that, yeah. Because he uses yeah, yeah. Blue Eyes Ultimate and the Ritual uh, BLS. I can use the Retrain Ritual BLS to make that. Is that one like treated as BLS or while, while on field or something? I wouldn't know, in all honesty. I wouldn't know. Um, 
Okay, so it this probably is basically doesn't. a cyber load fusion for blue eyes, but it also pops cards equal to like the amount of blue eyes or blue eyes ultimate dragon you use. That's kind of nice. It's kind of correct. If you make like uh, like I mean, the the if ultimate, you, make, like, you can pop three. Ultimate with like three blue eyes. That's like three pops. Yeah, where does it fuse from? Hand and field, uh, or it's uh, hand field, I think. Hand field and or gra and graveyard. Oh, that's actually really good then. That's uh, actually really good, yeah. But I think with the first Miracle one, Fusion wait. that uh, pops free potentially, that's really correct actually. Kinda, yeah. Uh... It's another alert. Yo! Illusion Oh, of it's chaos. the new guy. Wait, this guy's actually hard as fuck. Hold up. Isn't that like a fair bit of money? Like 20 bucks, 30 bucks? He, he is worth a fair bit of money, yeah. Mainly because he searches magician souls, but also because he's very good dark magician support. Like, this guy is actually cracked. Yeah, you can't even hit that out of the hand specific. Yo! Yes! Let's hey, go! Nice. Oh, we got our shed! <laughs> How many of these do you usually play? Do you play three or...? Uh, I mean, I play three, but I'm biased. <laughs> yeah, but like in an optimal uh, build, you need three I think or...? in an optimal build, you'd run like, I think, two. I think two is like mm -hmm. a very... I think a very optimal ratio. <sighs> we got her! Yes! <laughs> nice, we can stop the opening of the video. It's over, we did goodbye, it, guys. We did it, boys. We did it. We did it. Opening. We pulled the main card. No we got, we got, we got Kent Regina. This is what we all came for. We can go home. Go we watch a different go video. <laughs> go watch Prog. Go watch Prog. True, that released today, by the way. Um, mm -hmm. So, like, shameless self plug. Um, you should check out the progression series me and Jaden are doing. It was Cybernetic Revolution, I think. Cybernetic Revolution yeah. went up today, yeah. But otherwise... Yo, it's another Sun and Moon. It's another shitty Book of Moon. <laughs> Shit of Moon. Shit of Moon. Because, like, wait, this is like... Because it targets a monster your opponent controls and a monster you control. And then, like, depending on the battle position they currently have, uh, it just reverses it. So, like, if they're face up, it changes them face down. And if they're face down, it changes them face up. Yeah. Yeah, so, so like, I feel like how I, gonna have in, everything. in terms of like Dino Raffia cards, I also got like, yo, it's Tamayas, the uh, fusion. Oh, yeah, they're making the these as like the actual cards now. Yeah, which is kind of nice. Hopefully, what do they see, do? Uh, Critias and Hanmos follow soon, I guess. Yeah. What does what does it do? Um, it special summons himself by sending a spellcaster or a spell or trap that uh, mentions Dark Magician in its text. Uh, from hand of fields to the grave and during the main okay. phase he's a fusion summon with monsters from hand or field so like he's quite nice i think uh i've seen like some builds run one because you can search him off the uh, illusion of chaos yeah but should have Yo, can, 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 can be Karibo or support. hey nice you can summon that with um can summon that with the ultimate fusion if i ever decide to be like yep blue eyes true Yo, zombie vampire. Oh, More secret rare? Secret rare, yeah. So that means we do not have another secret in this box, um, but that is fine. Oh, we do. I really like the fucking foil bleed, honestly, with like the secret rare effect. Oh, it's not so strong on this one. But like on the others, you can like really see it. Mm -hmm. Oh, it looks so nice. And this is like considered a misprint. How is this a misprint if the card looks like objectively better? I mean, it can still be a misprint too, because it just means that it wasn't intended. True. Yo, another Doom Broker. I'll take that. Nice. I believe Ultra Rare in the initial one. Yo, another in... Sonic Draw 7 Uga Booga card. For gateway. Hey, it's a Labromancer field spell. Labromancer first nice. appearance. Of course. Yeah, gadgets, Mofftronics. Yo, it's a Sword Soul guy. She Sing nice. Long One. This guy is toxic as shit. Yeah, what does he do? Um, if like uh, once per turn, if your opponent activates a spell or I think it special summons a monster. Uh, yeah, it's if your opponent special summons one or more monsters or activates a spell. Uh, you can banish it and burn your opponent for 1200. 
Neat. Wait, banish the card they activated, right? Banish the card they activated, yeah. Uh, not really, no. Hmm. I think like, I mean, I think like the most I got out of like discarding Misk is, ooh, DDD. -D -D. Uh, I think it's like Doom King Dios, Dios Machinex or something. This guy is like supposed to make DDD actually good. Does he do that though? Uh, I don't know. Just, I mean, Understandable. DDD, DDD is just always like a deck um, that kind of has like this this cult following around it because it's just a very insane combo deck because you can make like everything in it or the deck just makes everything. Mm -hmm. Um, yo, what? Nice. Yo, the second one. What? We got a second Theresia. Yo, that's kind of nice. That's kind of nice. Not gonna. I was like, okay, yeah. If I pull one, I'm happy, you know. Third one, champ. Yo, if we get a. Don't jinx it, but like. I mean, if if we get a third one out of this, I don't know, man. That'd be like quite. This is a good opening. Money well spent, Copium. Oh, right. I don't know if this is like light good. Um, cause Ice Jade, so Mega Lul. Um. But I think the Ice Jade secret that's in this set is like actually kind of good. Yo, wait, what? Oh, nice. Second Guardian Chimera. Let's go. Yeah, that's kind of hard, not gonna lie. Monsters. Vampire Spirit. Is nice, this vampires. Good? Probably not. <laughs> what do you mean? You can summon him with the uh, Book of Life. True, that is, that is true. If he's normally summoned, you can. Uh, uh, he dumps a vampire card from Hand of Field, and then he adds a level four higher vampire monster from deck. Okay, that's kind of neat. And then he also dumps a level two vampire. Okay, yeah, he's kind of cracked. What the hell? Okay, like for like vampires, he's insane because like you can add another. He can add like a sorcerer and then dump like retainer or familiar. So maybe in the gold. Yo, this is like the ice chase secret I was talking about. Ooh, that is apparently cool. good. I mean, it looks awesome. But that's just like because secret rare mega loot. Because it's a secret rare. Because like um, you can take any card and it's gonna look good in secret rare. Uh, get a link one that's gonna like search hey, your whole deck. Hey, it's another DDD Doom King Dios Machinex. More, nice. more, more best deck. I can cut out my screw ups. <laughs> Yo, nice. Another one. Oh, let's go. I mean, it's so only an ultra rare. Cool. It's not that crazy, right? I you mean, got like but four like still like blocks. 14 ultras in the set. And then, like, see yeah. two of like the. Because, like, this is basically all I need, you know? I, I, I don't. I mean, I would like to play three. <laughs> But I don't think like playing three is like realistic. Hey, another Tamias. Let's hey, go. we can play Dark Magician. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Dark Magician, my favorite mm. deck. I might even mm. have like still a playset of DM lying around. Okay, but who doesn't? Dude, let's go. Yo, it it's is the cover from card. Dual power. Hey, Master speaking of, of Dark Chaos. Magician, it's actually a cracked opening, dude. It's only an ultra? I thought it's it would be a secret. Ultra, yeah. Hell yeah, summoning <laughs> a nitro... Holy shit, nice. Yeah, that's I mean, a... it, it's just, it's meant to be, dude. That's a playset, yep. Yeah. <laughs> that is indeed Let's a go. Of this is a really cracked opening. Jesus Christ, do you ever just like pull three secrets you need? Holy shit. Jesus Christ. Hey, it's another Blue Eyes Tyrant Dragon. Hey, we're gonna play Blue Eyes soon. Next journey, Blue Eyes. By the way, fun fact, I actually have a Blue Eyes build. <laughs> on the number wow, of decks friend. that I have. <laughs> I we're on the last box, right? Yeah, we're on the last box. But I think after like mm. pulling three Theresias, um, getting a domain is like a lot to ask for, I feel like. Especially after like... That's the other secret rare, right? <laughs> Hey, I was about to ask the third country Gino would be nice, at least right in yeah. <laughs> there is no, no it's meant to way. be. What can you say? I guess I have like I don't know, one to put like in the back of my phone case or something. <laughs> always on me. But like Yeah. I, I... Always carrying protection <laughs> ready to negate an effect. 
mean, she doesn't negate anything, but... I mean, she can banish to... She can banish copy an effect, like right? Effect and then you can... Yeah, yeah you can banish and negate, and then negate. <laughs> oh, that is so nice. The search for Dino Waifus was very, very successful. <laughs> Yep. Another uh, Tamayas! We are playing Dark Magician, I guess. Hell yeah. Because you totally run three of these. <laughs> Yo, it's Post uh, the everything fucking, he wants. Like nice. Seven, Place it of Tyrant. The fucking seventh ultra of this box, I think. Yeah. But yeah, in terms of like recap, I don't think I can complain because I got like three Cantroginas out of this, which is. That's like, <laughs> that is something. Um, three Theresias, also really nice, was looking for those. Um, the two Stealth Bergias, um, in terms of like other Dino Morphia cards, I basically... Did you get four? I got like four, yeah, but like, one's going to the card market. <laughs> you go to Gulag. <laughs> um, so yeah, that is nice. So in terms of like Dino Morphia cards, I feel like I definitely did above average. Uh, otherwise... We got our hands on a Chaos Nefties, an Ice Jade Cosmo Claw, whatever she's called, another Ice Jade Agerine, Vampire Spirit, a Playset of Tamias, the uh, United Dragon, a Master of Chaos, a Playset of Blue Eyes Dragon Tyrant. I don't know. Yeah, blue, time to play Blue Eyes. Uh, two Guardian Chimeras. These are like kind of hype, I guess. Uh, a E. I think it's like. Sinister Sword Soul Sovereign, Xi Jing Long one. That guy is insane. Uh, two DDD uh, Founder Kings, uh, Dios Machinex, a Zombie Vampire, an Illusion of Chaos, two Libromancer Doom Broker, three copies of Dark, probably the best super of the entire set, two Sun and Moon, a Libromancer First Appearance, and two Earth Arctic Radiance. Um, I don't know. It feels very, very, very good looking at like this recap in all honesty. <laughs> Holy crap. Um, but yeah, with all that out of the way, I will thank you guys very much for watching and see you guys again next time. But until then, goodbye.